Pepper. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dr. Pepper, Pepper All-Star Hearthstone Tournament. Joining me today is Kungan. How are you doing so far? I'm doing really good. I'm I'm hoping to see some new classes for the next game. For example, maybe see some Rogue or Warrior. That would be really interesting, because there has been a lot of the same uh, matchup so far in the tournament. Absolutely, it would be exciting. So first we have Ruxar Rescumato. Keep in mind, we are in the semifinals. So these players have actually both qualified for the final uh, Dark Pepper All-Star Hearthstone playoffs that will take place at the end of July. So the only reason these matches really matter is just for seeding purposes. However, yeah. you take home a little bit of fame. Fame and glory is worthwhile. Get some more stream time too. <laughs> exactly. So we haven't we've seen we've seen Ruxer before, but not Skumato, right? We just saw Skumato. Oh yeah, we Skumato just saw Skumato. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about that. So Skumato, if I recall, has Zoo and Druid. Zoo and Druid, yes, yes, yes. yes. Handlock and Hunter. Hunter, yeah. So we will see the same matchups again. Damn it. <laughs> But yeah, I, I completely agree. I would have liked to see some warrior, some rogue, some freeze mage. But we'll see the same decks. It's fun. They're doing well with them, so you can't really complain. Uh, we should be getting into the first game in a little bit, but who, who do you think has advantage in this one between the two, uh, just based on their kind of class compositions? Mm, what was the clamps competitions again? Can you? It was yeah. Hunter Warlock. You have Ruxar uh, with Hamlet and Druid. Mm -hmm. And then you have Druid and Zoo. Oh, just Druid and Zoo. Well, I think it really depends on what they pick first. But the Hunter could... Oh yeah, they can't sweep here either. I mean, Handlock, it's... One guy has Handlock. What, what do you, how do you think Handlock runs against Druid and Zoo these days? It's pretty even, isn't it? I would say it's pretty even. Yeah, it's pretty even. And Hunter, I'd say... What about... Hunter is pretty even as well, isn't it? I think Hunter is actually... I think it's favorite. very even matchups. Yeah, a little bit favorite. Oh, they maybe. switch classes. We're gonna have a... Oh, yeah, they are allowed to swap decks. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, good, good. And here we go. Proto-Hype so... Hybrid Hunter versus Proto-Hype Hybrid Hunter. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are allowed to swap decks between every round. Nice, nice. So maybe we will see a warrior, or possibly a rogue this time. It's amazing how this deck is just taken over. Mm hmm Oh, I still haven't tried it out. I really, I really want to try it out now. It seems very oh, powerful. Fun. You just go face and then drop a high main and they concede. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've always been a big fan of Hunter, but I've never been a big fan of Ace Hunter. So having like a... Like both Always sides of it would actually be pretty fun. Face Hunter is not only frustrating to play against, but it's sometimes also very frustrating to play. Especially yeah. if you like your Druid innervates out of Belcher on like turn two or three. Just what do you do? <laughs> You're screwed basically. But also, I don't know. I feel kind of bad when you win in like five turns with Face Hunter because the opponent didn't even have a chance to do anything. So it just feels like, ugh, poor guy, you know. <laughs> So I think you have to play the abusive sergeant here, right? Otherwise, he can coin out the juggler, and you. Well, he does have the glaive suka, though. Yeah, I think Ruxar really does have to. But you still, you still have to get bored here, yeah. It's just one of those matchups that you can't not play a minion on turn one. Exactly. If you pass, you're probably losing the game here. Because it's not like you need that two damage later to trade up. I mean, Unleash is the only card that actually, like, you know, puts you back when you have a disadvantage. Mm. Oh. Would you love for no and abusive here? Mm, what can I do the next turn? I don't know. I, I might actually have played both of them there. But uh, you have to plan your upcoming turns, but... Uh, I, I guess he wouldn't have a turn 3 played out, but on turn 3 he could have used a coin. So if he played both now, he could have played a 2-drop next turn and then like a double 2-drop. I, I really like Glaive Zuka here and just using your weapon to kill off that Leper Gnome. Yeah. Mm. 
Now, do you take the 50-50 chance with Knife Juggler? Oh, it's definitely a winning play. What else can you do? Hmm. Oh. Well, even if he pings it, the weapon still kills the Knife Juggler, though. So it is kind of awkward. Maybe maybe you just Glaive Soup can kill it here. Like he's doing. I like that play, but it, yeah. it does set you behind when he follows it up with an animal companion here. It's, it's, it's kind of nice, like you don't have to use your juggler here. I mean, it, it's really strong with Unleash if he draws an Unleash later on, especially when he has coin. He I never thought I'd say it, either. but I think he wants it to be Huffer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Damage, but it's the only way he can really come back from this position. I mean, that Huffer is basically going to do 8 damage. 3 mana for almost a Pyroblast. Not yeah, bad. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So he should definitely keep his weapon here. Ooh. Ooh. Freezing Trap is... Well, Freezing Trap on Huffer is... Uh, it still comes out. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Turn 5, so it's like... Four yeah. So I think you juggler abusive. I mean, it's not great, but yeah. I mean, all you have left will be the abusive, but you do have. Hmm. You could also weapon. What can I do next turn then? I don't know. It's a it's a really tough turn here. Maybe I, I think you weapon here because it's very likely you use freezing to trap next turn. So I think you just weapon like a phase. Not, not playing that turn one lepernome and abusive kind of yeah. came to bite him in the butt. Mm -hmm. Just losing tempo in this matchup just makes you slowly just take more and more damage. Just the hunter's ability to finish you off. That's kind of hero power here, looks like. Keeping that Glaivesuke has been really good, because it prevents him from playing that juggler every turn. More or less. I think silence here would be pretty reliable. Silence it, just hit it off. And then probably freezing trap? Yeah, I think so. Kill it and freezing here. Freezing is really good against that uh, high main if he can keep clearing, the, keeping the board clear. So since he's playing this more mid-range version, how much burst does he? He still has so much burst in this deck. 12 life is basically nothing at this point. And he has... He still has kill commands, he still has a quick shot. He probably still has a wolf rider so or yeah. main golem. Uh, this is not looking very good. Don't you hear power glaive Zook, huh? <clears throat> I, like power. I would. You like hero power? Why not Glyph Sukia? It's gonna give you <coughs> four damage and it sets up <coughs> almost lethal next turn, right? I think he didn't want to do it because he he literally just attacked with his Glyph so he wouldn't mm -hmm. have been able to attack. So it actually does. Oh yeah, he couldn't have attacked that turn. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, then it was the right play. I think he has to play the abusive for the damage here. Leaving it is a mistake. Mm -hmm. So we still have, I can't see the freezing trap, but it should still be up there. So high main doesn't really do anything at all. He needs to draw a charger if he plays high I main or I'll, unleash. I, I think I like freezing Glaive Zuka here, power just yeah. for base. Yeah, definitely. Puts him at four. It's really hard for a hunter to come back when they're this low on life. It's basically impossible because you're forced to trade every turn and the other guy is just going face all the time. Exactly. So once you drop the below hero. like 15, it's you're screwed if the other guy is at 25 plus. And this abuser was still sitting in his hand. They have not done much this game. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like when, when it when it's this kind of matchup, you kind of have to just drop everything all the time and fight for board. Guamato <clears throat> loses to Ruxar in game one. Um, so the question is whether or not you think that turn one play of choosing to just do Lepernome instead of a Lepernome and Abusive would have made a difference. Yeah, I, I think it would have made a big difference. I mean, having a double one drop turn one is really strong. And we are going straight into game two, it looks like. So we have Ruxar now on Handlock versus Skumato playing Hunter still. Oh, we play Stark and Golem. So, oh, oh, do you have Ark and Golem in the Shredder? Oh, I didn't know that. Exactly. That's it's. Do you play one of them? I guess. It's mm -hmm. yeah. Most like most play just one Arcane Golem. And double Wolf. Uh, the original list was double Wolf, one Arcane Golem. Okay. Actually, the original list also had Leroy and stuff. That was before I yelled at him to put in some high mains, and he finally did that. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just. The strength of Shredder, I think, is it's just such a valuable card. You can't not use it. It's placed, I feel like, in every deck that has a spot for yeah. it. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's really good in, like... Even if you just play a face hunter, I think Shredder is fairly decent. Because your opponent is forced to trade it. And trading a Shredder is not usually what you want to do. Especially when you play a hunter that's just, you know, unleashing damage on your face. Shredder usually gets some damage onto the face, yeah, just so exactly. hard to kill. But I, I think the problem with that is not that it's so good, it's the fact that it's so good and has so much RNG. Mm -hmm. That's the few cards I personally dislike in Hearthstone are the ones that have so much RNG, but yet even on average that RNG is good enough to make it better than anything else. Yeah. I think it should be, on average, a little bit worse. So people who want to take risks with the RNG, just, like, just it, it shouldn't be an auto include in every deck, you know? Mm -hmm. I like what Rexar did there. He went through all his cards to show his opponent that he has a lot of different plays, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you probably want to keep the juggler for when you trade, uh, if you have another good play that turn. Since you have the oh, creeper like, out there. I for... don't like playing juggler there. I guess it would die to dark bomb, but at the same time, yeah. on turn three, it just... Yeah, arcing golem is probably not something you want to play turn three against the handlock. And here's an interesting issue. So the double Twilight Drink, those will be good. The double Molten Giant is very good. Belcher will save him a little bit. The problem is he doesn't have heals yet, and he doesn't have taunts. So I think tapping right now is probably yeah. the best option. Yeah, he definitely has to tap here. It's, it's, it's so hard to play Handlock against, like, uh, against Hunter, because tapping, it's hard to decide if you should tap or not on some turns. Because if the card, like, especially later on in the game, because if you tap something you don't need at all, you just lose two life, which can be very critical. Mm -hmm. So I think he has to play the Knife Juggler at this point. Mm -hmm. Which actually isn't bad, because now, um, Rockstar has a difficult decision as to whether he wants to play the Twilight Drake, or whether he actually Dark Bombs. Looks like a zombie show, a dark bump. I made a snap decision with that one, but I think it's yeah. effect. Try to ward off some of this damage. Mm -hmm. Again, here comes the power of this hunter to be yeah, able Drake. to pilot a shredder to go from being a face hunter to a mid-range hunter, and then at the yeah. end being able to burst as a face hunter again with the arcane golem. It's just so difficult to play around. Oh, I did get an heal bot now. It's very important, especially with Double Molten on your hand. You can really swing the game like that. <laughs> so playing Drake was... Drake would have been really weak since he drew the Owl as well. So definitely did the right play before. But I mean, you're kinda... I guess you, you have 
Belcher is the perfect counter to Shredder, so... Mm -hmm. The only Maybe problem is... Slam it and Owl? trade out the guy. Owl could be an answer to it, or... Yeah. Just even but if he owls one. now, the mo if it, then he can't owl the Molten Giants if he draw, manages to draw a taunt. That is true. But I mean, Belcher is the counter to Shredder, so I, I think, yeah, that surprises me. That Twilight trick it's... there. It's an interesting trick. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that is better than Belcher. Because now... Hmm. I think yeah, I... I would just Haunted Creeper and trade the two things off, personally. Yeah, you owl the one as well, right? Mm hmm Yeah. I like that. Trade off your 1-1s one here. I'll leave yeah. you an owl, a shredder, and a... a spider. You definitely don't want to go face here. You want to get on Hyena out before he starts playing Molten Giants, for sure. Exactly, especially because... Even two double. of them. He, he just doesn't have any reach right now. He doesn't have kill commands. He doesn't have uh, yeah. quick shot. He, he, he can't. Two he high. can't go. F yeah, he, he can't go face until he has burst on his hand, basically. He has oh, wow. a control hunter. I, I think he should play it that way. So he is actually going all in face, and he's gonna keep the silence to stop the molten giant here. But it's gonna bite him in the ass, I think. <laughs> I think I agree with you. <laughs> but he doesn't have a taunter though. He does not have a taunter, so... Hmm, maybe it won't bite him that much in us. He really needs a Sand Fury or an Argus here. Well, let's see what he's planning. So how much damage does he have on board? 5, 6, plus the 4 in his hand, plus 12. Oh no, well he can't silence an Arcane Golem and kill him. No. Exactly. Greedy. When you have two high mains at hand, he could have been very patient. Yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised. Uh, I, I don't understand why he went face when he has no kill commands on hand and double high mains who are really strong against warlocks. This puts him in a horrible situation. Let's see. Kill command? Is, would kill command do anything here? Well, it would not give him little. What do you think about just I main and end? Oh, it's really awkward spot there. I mean, he can actually clear with Hellfire then and heal and play. Oh, this is not in good position. No. I really What's think that? I really think his greed is going to cost him there. He, he he just had the hand to be conservative, yet he he played it as if he was a face hunter and had no outs in the mid game. This is very true. So what can he do here? He can I guess here just hmm. No, I, I don't think you want to use Hellfire. <laughs> nice. He really wa he really wants to draw a Taunter, Sun Fury and Argus, then the game is over right away. I think he's just gonna go face and try to end this here. Yeah, double belt sure. He does not respect well. Because he doesn't have to try to respect the double kill. Yeah, he, yeah, he is fine. fine here. I mean, he... Unleash maybe could do something here. No unleash. I mean, he does have four taunters up. Well, two since he has owl. Would so unleash have command have killed him? Possibly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um... No, I don't think so. I don't think he would have had enough have. mana. If he had unlimited mana, sure. Hmm. 
Oh, he really put himself in a really... I mean, he's threatening Leiter now, the Warlock, so he has to kill things here. He has to, like, kill a Molten Giant, otherwise he's basically dead. One Molten Giant has to die somehow, otherwise he will die. Doesn't look like he's gonna die. This is gonna be it. Ruxar's gonna take yep. the game. Just, just, just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, don't be greedy. Take your time. Yeah, that's uh, it's it's difficult to play handlock, and it's also very difficult to play against handlock. I mean, every time you play against a handlock, you're sitting there with board, and you're like, should I go face now or should I not go face now? And it's really important to make the right decision there, otherwise you will lose the game like he did here. If if he didn't go face and played on high main, I think he would have had a chance to win that game for sure. Now he just overplayed it and lost to the double Molten Giant combo, even though he didn't even have any Argus or Zampiri. Mm -hmm. So that will be it. Rockstar takes the series 2-0. Uh, coming up, we do have the finals, but we're going to take one last short break before we go to that. So stay tuned. We'll be back.